So I entered raffles for these on the Armé Lyon Dior website and also on End Clothing, but uh, I didn't win. Uh, took a massive L. And then I knew that they were going to be releasing on the New Balance website, but sometimes that's a really sort of hit and miss, and most of the time you sort of miss. Reason being, it's a sort of on a queue system, uh, which is good if you can get in there early enough and be one of the ones to grab the sneaker. You know, if you're in the sort of first, uh, I suppose, 500,000 people, then you're more likely to be able to grab your sneaker. And uh, for this one, I entered, I suppose, a minute later because uh, I just forgot. But uh, it was one of those ones where I, I suppose I was still lucky because I, I wear a smaller size, so probably that's the reason why it didn't sell out so instantly. And uh, so I managed to grab a pair, and this was on the 20th of June, and uh, I'm recording this on the next day, and so they arrived pretty pretty quickly, which is really nice, and New Balance are sort of really good with that kind of stuff, and their delivery times are awesome. And uh, like I say, you see, Arme Leon Dior, and it's uh, the, in the Seasock colorway for the New Balance 1000. And uh, you can see here, it comes in this uh, nice box, and it's designed in a, in a way where it's quite sort of similar in, in terms of its premiumness to the Joe Fresh Goods one, which I also reviewed, which is uh, the Pure Black Ice. You get the, like a hang tag that came with it. Uh, for some reason, my one had like this massive dent on the uh, chain, so I had to kind of unpick this to release it. But uh, also come with a couple of different sort of lace options, so you get sort of white and green, uh, white and grey, sorry. And then you also get this nice sort of pattern on the box itself. But uh, it's a cool, cool little thing, really. You know, it's been newly retroed in the sense that it's uh, one of those ones where it came out in uh, 1999, and now they've sort of retroed this year, and which is which is really nice to sort of see. And there's a few different models that come out. And this one is, a, like I said, it's an Armé Lyon Dior collab, so they're mostly known for their, uh, I suppose, like uh, lifestyle sort of fashion streetwear type work. It's a, you know, one of those ones where their collab is quite sort of hyped, and this is my first pair of uh, Armé Lyon Dior sneakers. This was made as a runner back in the day, so it's one of those ones where, when it was released, it was a, a runner, and nowadays more fit for sort of lifestyle, and it kind of reminds me of the Air Max 95 and also the Air Max Plus because of its sort of wavy lines and structure. With the uh, details, this has a sea salt colorway uh, similar to the New Balance 9060 and it's one of those sort of fave colorways that New Balance tend to use and also concrete. And this has a polyurethane uh, midsole foam and it's quite sort of soft to the touch in my opinion, especially when you sort of press down on it. And it has a, what they call a absorb SBS cushioning, which is a New Balance technology and it feels sort of quite soft and then you've got the these pods uh, which is kind of like these gel like structures that help with impact protection as well and i was surprised actually because the upper is made up of uh, pretty much leather materials there's a little bit of mesh in the heel area but most of the upper is uh, made of uh, pretty much leather leather panels really and i wasn't expecting that and it kind of reminds me of the air max plus so i think these are a bit sort of slept on for that reason um, the cold, the cold wall Air Max Plus is also had like full leather, uh, but when I got a pair of those in person, I was just really impressed with that. Um, this one is one of those ones where, like I say, because it's leather, I do prefer the mesh on the toe box in, in all honesty, but it's, this is still has sort of a clean sort of look to it. And the price on these are £160, which isn't bad actually for a collab in my opinion. So with the comfort, these are on the medium to firm side, so they're not like soft soft, but they don't feel like horrible on feet. Uh, it's quite similar to an Air Max Plus, but probably a little bit softer than those, and they feel quite sort of nice on foot and quite sort of neutral. And they have sort of good sort of okay sort of support around the arch, not like nothing special going on in there. As you can see, there's not much support there, but it was made as a runner, but nowadays, you know, probably better off just using them as sort of everyday wearing sneakers. And I would say pretty much, you know, I tried these on and did the on foot part of the video, but I'd never had sort of any issues or any kind of like um, problems with wearing these straight away. So in, that, in my opinion, I don't think there's any sort of wearing time with this. Because of the leather upper and not having mesh in there, it's got more of a sort of thinner lining. So in that respect, it don't, won't take too much time to sort of break in either. And true to size works on these. I think uh, it's it's weird because in the in the UK and in the EU, the sizes for New Balance sort of corresponds pretty well and one to one with uh, Nike. 
However, if you're sort of looking, um, I suppose in the US, you might want to go down like a half size in these because of the leather material. Like the mesh seems to be one of those ones where if you have a little mesh material, it's slightly more sort of thicker padding, but with the leather in this, you could potentially go down half size. I noticed that I don't have as much tightness as I do with the pure black ice pair. So maybe I recommend going to size on these. And I like the uh, midsole, it's kind of uh, similar to a trail shoe. It does remind me of the Air Max Plus One and also the uh, Air Max 95. And these have great traction as well in my opinion. So if you can sort of see the outsole, it's got this nice um, system going on here with the little circular patterns. And also on the back, it just it feels quite sort of grippy and nice to the touch. And because it's sort of segregated as well, it gives you the grip in, in the right places. And especially sort of when you're moving, so this sort of flexes a bit. So with the look and style, I like the uh, light colours on this, and it, it's a you know pretty much sort of tried and true formula of the being a sea salt colourway, and it's sort of quite sort of neutral on foot, and nothing sort of too loud or special going on. And it's a good one, in my opinion, to rock all seasons. Like I said, I was I was didn't realise that it's a full on leather upper because from the photos you can't tell too much, but from that perspective, obviously it's a white colour, but there's you know this protects you pretty well and keep will keep you pretty warm as well because of it being a leather upper so I would say pretty much all seasons obviously this white colorway you kind of want to be a bit careful when you're wearing these and it's a good one to wear casually they've got more of a sort of street vibe in my opinion so for that perspective I wouldn't be wearing them on you know like for a smart outfit uh, you know they just give me a lot more sort of, sort of street vibes like I said similar to an Air Max 95 and as I mentioned earlier, it comes with sort of white laces and also grey laces, but then it's also got these mixed sort of trail vibe laces. Um, but you can also put in a green cream pair because there's a bit of cream on the upper. So with the final thoughts, I like the trail shoe vibes. And uh, it's one of those ones where, like I say, because you have these sort of lace loops going on here, it reminds me of the Air Max 95 and this sort of whole sort of lacing mechanism. And then the wavy lines is, like I said, it reminds me of the Air Max 95 and also the Air Max Plus. So it's quite cool in that respect and the way it looks and the chunky midsole. And uh, I do like the neutral colour scheme. I think with New Balance in general, they crush it with their colour schemes in my opinion and this one's no different. Uh, I, I wouldn't say it's just wowing me in terms of the uh, aesthetics of the pure black ice, the Joe Fresh Good one, uh, because that one has like this iridescent panel going all over it, which looks really cool under different lights. Uh, but this one is like a less, less flashy, understated version. And I do actually like the fact that it's all leather. It means I can sort of wear it, you know, pretty much any time and not have to sort of think about it too much. So it's a sneaker that I'll probably pull out during the sort of winter time as well and wear it and just, you know, just be careful which, you know, when you wear it in certain weather conditions so you don't want to be wearing it in the snow, for example. And I do like the TPU panels, so that's a quite a nice treatment. It looks like the TPU panels are overlaid on top of the leather panels. So for me, that's a, a nice touch and kind of protects the sneaker in a way as well. And Again, it gives a sort of a bit of a nod to the Air Max Plus as well. And I like the fact that you get this uh, extra bit of premiumness going on, so you get like a hang tag included, which is cool. Uh, I don't tend to put them on the sneakers themselves. This one's obviously a big and heavy one as well, but it's still nice to sort of have those extra bits and pieces. And the cons, I suppose, the silhouette isn't for everyone. It's much like an Air Max 95, I suppose. Um, I don't tend to like the Air Max 95 look too much. And uh, if I was to grab a pair, I'd probably grab the neon pair that's coming out in 2025 but this one I think it's one of those ones where I actually don't mind the way it looks on foot um, the Air Max 95 I don't know there's something about it that doesn't quite look right and it just feels sort of too narrow to me on the toe box however with this one it's, it's one of those ones where I actually feel like it looks quite nice from the top down view so with the look and style I give it a 4 out of 5 it's not wowing me at the moment and it might be one of those sneakers that grows up grows on me with time and uh, it was similar to the a Cold War uh, Air Max Plus because I didn't grab those initially and then you like saw them when they're on sale and it's a, a really really nice understated sneaker and I think this one might be sort of a similar thing but at the moment it's a 4 out of 5 and with the comfort I'll give it a 4 out of 5 it's nothing too bad in there and it, like I say it feels similar to like an Air Max Plus you do sit quite slightly higher up than usual because of the chunky midsole but it still provides enough comfort for all day all day wear really and the quality is really nice as well so i'll give that four i don't think it's like premium leather the leather feels quite sort of thick cut 
but from the the touch of it it doesn't feel too amazing especially around this toe area here the the up the on the sort of toe box area here it feels quite nice and quite sort of soft but some of the panels i don't know whether it's you know sort of thicker material or, or and that's why it hasn't got too much flex or the material isn't that great in the first place but it's still cool though and the pricing i'm gonna give that a four uh, i think with these types of sneakers I, I just think like retro sneakers in general are priced a bit too high because there's not really much tech in there and uh, with this one i'm gonna give it a four because at the end of the day it's still a club and they could have charged a lot more money for it if they wanted to uh but being an army Leon Dior collab with, with New Balance and it's kind of pretty much priced the same as the a standard GR version so you can't really go wrong with that really and that's why overall I give the score a 4 out of 5 like I say you might grow on me and uh, I might just, you know come back later on and sort of say you know I think these are amazing but at the moment I still prefer the Joe Fresh Goods versions but obviously they're both different colours so at the moment I'm you know I think this one is a nice sort of neutral colourway you know it's a nice sort of contrast to the the black version and uh, yeah so very cool sneaker in my opinion